So we're having a bit of a clear out in preparation for the buffet refurbishment. And what's your plans? What do you intend to do? Shabby chic. Shabby chic. Yeah. And um, colour schemes? Green, white and gold. Okay. So this sort of distressed chalky paint yeah. type look. Well, I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm taking Shirley as an example. Yeah, she's very good at it, isn't she? Well, well, she doesn't actually do it. She always finds the perfect pieces already done. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to, we're going to have to do a perfect piece now, aren't we? Um, actually, I think we're, the trick is it's not perfect, isn't it? We can get away with it. It's very forgiving, it, isn't it? Yeah, I think if it's perfect, then it looks fake. Yeah, yeah. And what's my views on painting hardwood furniture? You don't like it. I don't like it, but I've got to say, I've got to say, I am probably a man who's turning just simply because there's so much of it. And, it's not just that, I wouldn't paint, the reason you want it painted is because this corner's so dark. And that's true, isn't it? If you look, I'll just come out a little bit. Look how dark it is. We're having, it's all a bit of a clear up at the moment, but yeah, with a lighter piece I there. I you can even see me, can you? Because it's so dark. Who the hell, who said that? Zana, <laughs> come back. Oh, there she is. Yeah, so we do need to lighten that corner up, you're right. Do you want me to put in an integral light underneath, the light up underneath? No. Okay. <laughs> no, that's going Ikea. Okay. I wish I was on my road, heading to you because you made me feel I'm home. So there we go, we've got the first two component pieces and we are just going to give them a brush down, decobweb, inside and out, and then a light sand anywhere we need to, just to take the oil off. Okay, it's the base colour, so remember this won't be dominant, this will just be revealed underneath the whitewash over the top. Anna wants to go for this uh, matte green that we've got. It's like a chalky emulsion, emulsion. It's very nice paint. It's been boiling. It is boiling, isn't it? Okay, first coat on the top of the buffet. Remember, this is the coat which will be revealed by the top coat. So this doesn't have to have maximum coverage, um, but this is the color that will be revealed when the white is just distressed away. Okay, so I'm being careful to take all the door furniture off and that can go over and be painted. This one is slightly more difficult because there's not much to get, not much to get in there. And please excuse, the scabby scraper because I can't find I can't find my pack of scrapers anywhere which is um, rather disappointing so these look like they've got these look like they've got nails I've just got to take the lock out now covered with brass screws they are nice but terribly soft and if for any reason they're in the timber hard, you're very, very likely just to turn over the slot. There we go. That lovely little mechanism. I'll put some WD-40 in that while, while it's out. How are we getting on? Uh, okay. Just melting a bit. So you're under the shade, which is yeah. a good idea. Tell I'm just getting this out as quickly as I can. Now this is covered in detail here, so you try and go on with thick emulsion and all it will do is just clog up and lose some of the detail. So what I've got is a tub of water there and we go, well I'll show you, look, we go a little bit of the, a bit of the green into the water 
and then that allows you to get it right into the grain and all of this carving detail and then all we need to do after that is just go around on the panels with the solid paint so that's what I'm doing now into there into there into the water and then Makes that so much easier looking. And again, this isn't the top coat, so oops, got a hair there. there we go. So we're just going to take these uh, handles off, uh, just so we can paint that nice and cleanly. Um, but just to show you the construction, obviously the entire drawer is solid wood, no plywood or anything. Now, what would normally happen is you'd have what called draw front dovetail joints. So that's a dovetail like this. It would actually finish about half an inch from the front. So you wouldn't see the dovetail joint on the front. Here, this is virtually, I've never seen this done. This is virtually an entire dovetail right to the front of the drawer. And then they've got a tiny piece of veneer that just covers it over. Or it could even be filler, actually. I'm sorry. Sorry, filler. But... For all the carpenters and cabinet makers out there, look at this dovetail joint there at the back. I've never ever seen anything quite like that. It's not a mistake. At first I thought, oh, maybe it's just a, a rough cut. But they're all the same, look. They're all the same. Um, that one snapped at the top because it's such a thin, such a thin piece of wood. But what that does is a dovetail will tie in. It ties in, ties in all the corners making a really tight joint. Anyway, I digress. We're here to just take these handles off. Can you believe this? This is what we've just had 10 minutes ago. And this is just what's come over now. It's still really hot. It must be in the early to mid thirties. Still very hot. We've got a storm coming. So we have just brought in the top of the buffet. We're going to leave that part of the buffet here. If it rains, we're going to drag it into the garage, but that's heavy, into the workshop, sorry. And we're just going to carry on and see what happens. That's it, the heavens have just opened. So now we're on panic stations to get this in quickly. So we have had some very, very odd weather, unfortunately. Um, it's, it's sunny again now, um, but we've had this intermittent storm and then rain. So we've had to put some of the stuff in the barn, some of the painted stuff in the barn, and the rest of it's in here, look, just here. So in the uh, keenness to get this job done, uh, we're going to continue, going to continue now. Um, and we're going to apply the second coat, which is a whitewash coat. And the idea is it shouldn't be too, the idea is it shouldn't be too dominant. The white should allow the green to show through in places. That's the plan. We'll do a couple of pieces and see how we get on. Well, that's the storm, hasn't it? It's been terrible, isn't it? No, it's been brilliant. Well, brilliant for storm watching, but bad for buffet painting. I love storm watching. I can't concentrate, can I, when I'm storm watching? I'm trying to do this and you're talking to me. Oh, what do you think is that? Yeah. Oh, look, it's coming back. The storm's coming back. <laughs> and all I'm thinking about is holes in roofs and what damage it's going <laughs> to cause. And you're like, oh, this is so exciting. You've just put your white um, thin layer on top, haven't you? And I'm just dabbing it with a sponge to give it a little bit. Can you see it on the camera? Yeah, I'll come in. 
so it's kind of like a distress. Yeah, you it's can. Like, it's like dapples. Yeah, you can make that out because you don't want it to look like brush marks, no. do you? No. And we tried this side first because this side is up against the wall. It's the side you're least likely to see. This is the paint. This is the painter's palette. <laughs> We're going to have troubles when we do these, all these, aren't we? That's going to be great fun. So, should we do the top? Should we do the top bit? Get that done, get perfect it a little bit, bit better, and then yeah. try some of the doors. Yeah, tell you what, I might, if I bring another sponge out, two, two, unless you want to do the painting. No, I don't think we'd, yeah, we'd do it as we are. Yeah, okay. you do You do the stippling and get really good at that, and I'll just okay. put paint on. Okay. If you're happy with that, yeah? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, happy with that? Yeah. Drop a stipple. That's brilliant. Going perfect, isn't it? Yeah, exactly what I wanted. Adding an effect. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this brush is pretty dry now, so okay. I can just brush it over. It's a bit thicker than everywhere else, so it's me, that's me. Just passing that tissue over there. Yeah. Just had a bath as well. <laughs> I took it back out into the workshop. I got, I got soaked in the rain. Yeah, I could do with a bath, but we need to get it finished, otherwise it's yeah. another job half done, isn't it? Uh, or a job half done. So we've got some spray paint, because a lot of people, what they would do is gold leaf this and then distress the paint to show the gold leaf underneath. That's expensive and a lot of work. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go for metallic gold cellulose spray paint, which hopefully won't, uh, won't affect this. Um, and we're going to put it on, on this column. It's going to go on the columns and on the on the detail bit. So this is going to be the first time we're going to do it. And then if it works well, we're going to put it on the or the carving. Yeah, it's going to be good. So I'm the putter runner, and it is a taker offer. You don't spray directly. Oh, careful! Careful! <laughs> spray into the lid. Tiny amount on, and then. With this dry brush, sorry, I'm gonna have to swap round. Hey, Dimbo. Just drag that over the top. Not meant for small people, is it? No. So we do that. I'll carry on down here. So we're really just showing a hint of it, aren't we? Yeah. And I'll do around this side, honey. So I've done the top, the top one, and just gonna do this side. We wanted to do the these flutes in gold because quite a nice standout thick piece, aren't they? Yeah, but not completely gold. Next stage, because that's still quite bold, is we go in with a tiny amount of the white. So you've got an image in your head that has to be fulfilled, doesn't it? Yeah. There we go, just a dusting over the top look. That's all it is. The stippling takes out the brush marks and it just thins it out a little bit so it's not so dominant. Good. It's difficult to see in this light, really. You know what's going to happen when we put this upright, it's going to look awful, isn't it? It looks fine when it's on its back. No, it looks brilliant. <laughs> Are we drinking beer? People are going to be saying that's no. irresponsible. No, it's panache. Panache, it's only panache. Like so. 
first, then we're going to have quite a lot of gold on these, like on the uh, pillars. Okay, just to bring just, out. Yeah, bring out this, um, what do you call it, carving. Yeah, are they fruit in the basket there? Not quite, they look, they look like they're supposed to be fruit, but they look quite flowery, don't they? I don't know. Maybe it's um, a bit of blush in there. It's a bit fantasy, like you have the fantasy birds and the, bir the yeah. fantasy fruit or flower. Just uh, before we put them outside to dry, I'll just hammer in the uh, door furniture while okay. it's there, while it's on the bench. Okay, the drawer front's quite simple. No gold on those, just a white distress. Just gonna put the handles on, and then I think we're ready for a slow reassembly. Oh, that we've got to carry it all back in. Yeah. Haven't we? Gotta say I love your your clothing tonight. <laughs> pajamas. It's got silk pajamas <laughs> with Wellingtons. Oh you yeah. <laughs> a boob top. <laughs> you look like Felicity Kendall off of the good life. 